Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Today, my topic is about be curious use for teaching adults learner. Okay, stay tuned and listen. Uh, I'm going to start now. All right. So, an educator must realize that there are different levels of and ages of adult learners. So, how to teach adults with such a uh, broad distribution and classification? So the selection and development of appropriate instructional material is crucial to a successful adult learning. So the task is made more difficult uh, today by the vast array of materials available. That was researched by the by Maya Henry cited by Wilson in 1983. Okay, Maya Henry suggests the educators should select those that are best fit to such learner characteristics as age educational background, uh, ethnic background, country of birth, learning style, uh, cognitive uh, style, sex, and type of hemisphere specialization. So the choice of material is affected by the whether the learners will be individual in a temporary group or in an organizational or community setting. In the 1980s, Gert and McMean found that audio tapes, video tapes, in-service training, and continuing education were used as instructional components for staff and professional development at a mental health center. So of course, there should be a professional growth team to design, develop, and evaluate the instructional materials. Uh, Simonson research on the attitudinal outcomes affected by the instructional media and emphasized the concern on the techniques which are likely to produce a favorable reaction in students and delivery of instruction. So it is um, readily apparent after studying the uh, foregoing guidelines and research that media is only influenced on attitudinal outcomes that was researched by Simonson cited by Wilson 1982. So computer-based materials designing opened the door for more opportunity. They, level, uh, they review a level of individualized learning that is far beyond traditional instructional capability. So how to improve adult learners' reading, writing, uh, listening and viewing and thinking skills? So libraries, for example, are filled with materials that are useful and important. The question are, do we work to improve reading skills so that more people are brought within a range of needed materials or to win, adapt the materials downward in skill and ability requirements so that the division readers uh, can read them. Writers study the characteristic of self-directed learning effects on individual users of the materials. So, learner use are able to identify resources and specific kinds of assistance they need in completing their learning projects. So instructional designer is able to refine the materials used produced so that it can best meet the needs of self-directed learners. So another uh, great uh, tool is uh, using self-assessment. So what is self-assessment? Okay, the group itself can be a great source of support on as each individual begins to make plans for change and commitments to action. So the self-assessment program uh, is a clearer sense of purpose and a renewed com um, commitment to live to life more effective and uh, to live a more effective and satisfying life. All right. Um, Cohort-related factors include adult learners who born about the same time uh, for the purpose of adult education. For example, a class uh, composed of nursing instructors or trainers might respond well to a project tables, figure, and relatively complex uh, data presentation. And also, a class of composed of housewives newly returning to the educational experience might not be comfortable with much more uh, than generated instruct, uh, instructive films. Wilson 1983 suggests continuing educator can establish a rationale and procedures for uh, selecting, developing, or adapting a wide array of educational materials. So, there are apparently more materials available for certain combinations of various elements in educational settings than other combinations and some are more adaptable to certain combinations. 
So what may be needed uh, now are more materials that focus on social and cultural orientation systems where groups and communities are to be the main beneficiaries. Okay, let's conclude my today's topic on materials used um, to teach adult learners. And my next topic will be non traditional education, that is the introduction to the accelerated programs. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.